What's up YouTube? I hope you're all doing well and today I will take you with me in order to show you exactly step by step how I treat my landscape photography. So first things first, what I need to address is that today I'm going to use my Nikon ZFC with the kit lens. You don't need the expensive lens in order to do basic landscape photography. And also I brought with me my KNF Concept tripod over here. I will link down below which model I use exactly. Thank you KNF Concept for sending me this beauty over here. This really makes my job way easier and the reason we need a tripod over here and a good tripod is basically to stabilize our camera in front of our landscape and use the lowest possible ISO possible in order to get the cleanest image possible. But for now let's do some scouting for our first composition and yeah I will see you in just a bit. Alright you guys, I think I found my first composition over here. Basically I found this reddish looking tree which stands out a lot from all the other green and grey looking trees. It stood out to my eye quite immediately and here you can see how useful it is to actually have a really good tripod. Right here you can see I have stabilized my tripod on a really really dangerous uh, looking surface and if you don't have a nice quality uh, tripod that can hold into this surface over here then this frame over here can be a problem for you. Anyways, what I actually did here is I have stabilized my uh, tripod on some different uh, rocks and leaves. So our frame is going to be really, really basic. I'm at 16 millimeter and I have some dead woods over here on the foreground, which leads our eye to our main subject, which is this beautiful looking tree over here. And because I use a tripod for this shot over here, I can lower my shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. And also I can lower my ISO that way at 100. So I can get the cleanest possible image and also I can bump up my aperture close it actually down at f8 so I get everything nice in focus and nice and sharp most lenses are really sharp at f8 and this also goes for the skit lens over here so I really want to get the maximum quality out of this landscape shot and that's why I have to use a tripod in this case so I will use a two second self timer because I don't want to shake my camera when I press the shutter and I will let it take this clean first image. Enjoy! All right, you guys, I think I found my second and probably last composition because we're losing light quite quickly and it's really difficult to find a really, really uh, unique frame. What I'm trying to photograph here is this little um, branch over here, this little tree called whatever you want. Basically, the light is falling on top of this little tree over here. And as you can see, it's kind of standing alone on the field and it has these huge trees uh, behind it. So what I'm trying to do in this frame is basically have our main subject over here which is the small tree and also emphasize the big trees that are behind this tree over here. The tricky part here is that I have to get my ISO at 100 because I want again to get the best quality possible out of this image. So in order to do that we have to lower our shutter speed at around 1 15th of a second and yeah this is a really low shutter speed for us to get this image at 100 ISO and f8. So yeah we need again to use our tripod and this tripod is really convenient over here i have this really useful tripod head over here which really helps me out with my vertical shots over here as you can see once again i will use a self timer in order to not shake my camera after taking the shot and yeah let's see how the image will turn out
All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and the photographs that we took. Basically, the point that I was trying to prove in this video is that in order to get the cleanest possible landscape shots, you need to be at your lowest possible ISO count. Maybe it's 100, maybe it's 64, some cameras go to 64, but you need to be at your lowest possible ISO count. And if you're using the lowest possible ISO count paired with a step down aperture, something like f8, f11, f16, in order to get everything sharp and everything in focus, then you really have to use a slower shutter speed in order to gather enough light in your sensor. And obviously when we are using a slower shutter speed, we cannot really hand shield our images because motion blur will affect them and they will be blurry. And that's why we need a tripod for landscape shots in order to stabilize our camera and have the cleanest possible shot at the end of the day. In my opinion, it's good to invest in a good quality tripod like the one that KNF Concept sent me, but it also depends on the shooting environment that you're shooting. So yeah. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for spending some of your time by watching my content. This really means the world to me. Right now, while you're watching this, I'm serving on the Greek army in the Greek army actually. It's a mandatory thing here in Greece, but I have pre-filmed each video that I'm going to upload during the next few months in order to keep this channel going and not eventually die, hopefully, fingers crossed. So like I said, if you're feeling kind-hearted right now and you want to support me um, during these difficult times that I'm facing um, while I cannot be physically be uh, back home and create content, maybe subscribe to the channel, maybe even drop a like in this video, this really means the world to me. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you all next time. Take care, peace.